Public safety negotiations continue in Saginaw as the city's budget deadline draws near. The police department handing out awards today just as they prepare to lay off several officers. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in our newsroom right now. Walter, I understand not everyone who attended today's ceremony was necessarily welcome there, huh? That's right, Bill. The police union requested that city manager Darnell Early not show up to today's award ceremony, but he was there front and center with the assistant city manager for public safety, Phil Ludos. It was a tense situation as the police union continues negotiations with the city. Patrol officer Brian Wilson is Saginaw's police officer of the year. Well, it's quite an honor. But he may soon be filing for unemployment instead of patrolling Saginaw. Well, I hope that if it that if it does happen, it's short, but uh, I understand it. It's part of this circumstances that we're in right now. Three dozen police positions hang in the balance as city officials iron out the budget. We'll be at least 55. Uh, hoping that after today we could be make that raise that bar up to 60. Now everybody's trying really hard to come up with some kind of solution. The police union asking Darnell Early and assistant city manager Phil Ludos to sit this year's award ceremony out. A defiant Darnell Early showed up praising the police department and its new chief. Well, there was a request by the union to uh, that they not speak during the event. Uh, which is a non-issue. I don't have any further comment on that. Early also making no comment to reporters while avoiding them on the way out. It's a very emotionally charged uh, and a very difficult situation for everybody. Meantime, Officer Wilson and his family, trusting city officials, will work something out. I hope that uh, we can rebound to, um, to stronger numbers. These talks between the city and the union are ongoing. They were scheduled to meet today at 3 o'clock. We're still waiting to hear back to see how that meeting went. But Chief Leip tells me that they are looking to save at least five jobs, bringing the force to about 60 officers. Bill? Walter, before we let you go, what about the fire department? Any new developments with the discussions that they're having with the city? Yes, I actually spoke to the fire union president today, and he says that the talks are going well and that they are looking to save at least 10 jobs. Bill? Walter Smith-Randolph, the newsroom. Thank you, Walter.